Hey, what's up guys? Matt here. God has placed this message on my heart. I was doing a devotional this morning and I thought, man, I've got to quickly do a video because th this is so powerful. It's from the Blackaby devotional. If you want to do a great daily devotional, go to blackaby.net or get this Experiencing God book. The, 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 the verse that sticks out here is Luke 22, 27. It says, for he, for who is greater? This is Jesus talking. He says, for who is greater? He who sits at the table or he who serves? It is not he who sits, is it not he who sits at the table? Yet I am among you as the one who serves. So the disciples, even, you know, a lot of times they go in the upper room, they're looking for a prominent place to sit. Jesus is looking for a place to serve. They're waiting to see who's going to be the highest in the kingdom of heaven, who's going to be the best off. Jesus is down on his hands and knees washing their feet. I don't know about you guys, but man, that hits me like a ton of bricks. I want it to be all about me and my time, my money, my relationships, my possessions. It's all about me all the time. And here Jesus, the creator of the world, left the throne of heaven to come down and pay a ransom on that cross for us. He comes and kneels down and serves and washes feet. If that is not just a, a message to us, I don't know what is. We got to serve as Christians. We got If the world wants to see a difference, we don't need to just be out there just preaching stuff all the time. We got to get down and be Christ-like and serve them. Forgive the ones who shouldn't be forgiving. Love the ones who shouldn't be loved. Treat others with respect who do not deserve your respect. We as Christians have to be, like it says in Matthew, the light of the world, the salt of the earth, the city on the hill. We've got to serve. And again, I've turned this all on me because I'm guilty of this as anybody. I want it to be about me and my, my desires and my wants. But Jesus says that's not how it works. If you want to be a Christian, you want to be the one who's Christ-like and look and act like me, you've got to serve. Let me challenge you with this video. Look for places to serve in your church, in your home, in your friendships, on your job, when you're out, in your car, on the road, when you're at a checkout counter, when you're making someone dinner, when you're cleaning up after dinner, when you're watching your kids, when you're watching your nieces and nephews, when you're with your brother or sister, when you're with your mom and dad. Look for somewhere to serve. That's what's Christ-like. If you're like me, I want to sit down and read the Bible. I just want to do a devotional. Don't ask me to come out and serve you. But Jesus says, I am among you as one who serves. If we want to be Christ-like, we got to serve, guys. I can't say that with any more passion and desire. we got to serve. That's how we're going to be seen as different. That's how we're going to win people over to Christ. And then when people ask you, how are you... How are you doing this? How are you serving? You say, because greater is he who lives inside of me than he who is in this world. I don't, I'm not conformed to this world. I'm rather transformed by the renewing of my mind by Christ who lives in me. I have my eyes, like in Hebrews, fixed on Jesus, the author, perfecter, and finisher of my faith. Because we can't serve on our own willpower, but when Christ living in us and through us, we can serve any day, all day, every day, 365 days a year. And you know what? One last thing here, what I love about serving is you are in complete control. If we want things done our own way, we walk in and how's it going to be set up? And you walk in the room, I hope somebody makes me feel welcome. And how long are we going to be here? But you walk in looking to serve, looking to give your time, your possessions, your, your talents. You are in constant control because you say, I am the light into the dark world. I'm not waiting for somebody to shine on me. I'm coming in to shine on you. I'm coming down. Let me wash your feet. Let me serve you food. Let me scratch your back. Let me hug your neck. Let me give my money, my possessions, and everything to you. It puts us in control. Let's go out today. Do it, Jesus. Jesus said, I am among you as one who serves. Luke 22, 27. I challenge you. I challenge me. Let's go out. Let's be the light of the world. Let's serve. God bless you guys.